Friends, welcome back to our channel Learn with Gigs. In this video, I will discuss with you one scenario based question which was recently asked in the Power BI interview at Deloitte, which is a big four firm you all know. This question was provided to me by one of my connections on LinkedIn. So thought of creating a video on top of it so that you also know about it as it can be asked to you also in your interviews too. Okay. And friends, if you want to make your existing skills of a data analyst, which includes Power BI, SQL, Excel and Python, if you want to make them strong, if you want to learn the things which is relevant in the market as per the data analyst profiles, plus if you want to compete in the market with other candidates comfortably, then I would recommend you to go for a data analyst bootcamp from CodeBasic. Let me show you what I'm talking about on the screen. So this is the bootcamp that I was talking about. So whenever we go for a paid course or a paid bootcamp, we look for two important things. One, is it affordable or not? Second, is the quality of the course or the bootcamp good or not? I would say in both of these criteria, this bootcamp is at the top means it is very affordable. As you can see, it is 4,800 and at the same time, the quality of the content is very good. And you can see they also provide no question asked refund policy within 30 days of enrollment means within 30 days, if you don't like the bootcamp, they will return all of your money. So a win-win situation for you. So this is the bootcamp journey where you will be learning Excel, Power BI, SQL and Python. Okay, all the relevant skills that is required for a data analyst and which is as per the market standards. And along with these skills, you will be learning how to make online credibility. They will be helping you in resume preparation. They will be also providing you strategies how to apply for job applications. Also, they will be helping you, assisting you in interview preparation. And also they are providing virtual internship, okay, which you can also include in your resume. So at the end, after doing all these things, you will be job ready in the market. So this is a brilliant bootcamp, which you can go for. I will be providing the link of this bootcamp in the description box of this video. Please do check it out. Now let's get back to our original scenario, which I wanted to discuss with you. So basically interview provided these two columns, okay, name column and price column. The name column contains the product names, as you can see here, product A to product F and their corresponding price is there in the price column. Okay, simple. And the total sum, whatever is coming is there in the total that is 210. Now what interviewer wants from the candidate? He wants to create an average price measure, which should give the result like this. This is 35, which is basically 210 divided by six, because we have total six products. The so 210 divided by six will be 35, which will be the average price. So he wants a measure which should show the values like this. That means 35 in every record of this table. Okay. And also keep in mind the total will also be the summation of all the average price that we are showing over here. It should come the total, whatever is, since it will be coming the same that is 210. So it should show 210 also over here in the total. I hope you are clear with the scenario. This is what we have to create. Now let us see how we can do this in Power BI, how we can create measure like this. Now you can see I have the name column and price column, the same two columns that I had in the Excel file. I have loaded that here. Now I want to create a measure which should give me that result. Now let us try that how we can create that measure. Let me create that measure over here. I will rename this to average price, whatever I want. Okay. Now if you have to think about the solution, we need to take out the average. So first thing that will come into our mind is the average function. So what we will do, we will write the average function over here and I will choose the price column of which we want the average. See, we have started with the average function. This is what you will be doing, right? Now let us see what does this average price result or measure gives us currently. Now I will pull this average price measure in this table. Let's see what does it shows. Now I'm pulling average price over here. You can see clearly here, it is showing the same value as it is there in the price column. That means 10, 10, 2020. 20. It is not showing the average price of the product. Why it is? Because it is a measure which will work on filter contest and, and in each record it is finding one product and corresponding it is giving the average price. But in the total it is showing 35 which is the actual average price of all the products considered over here, right? Because 210 divided by 6 will be 35. So this is not the desired result that we want. So we share, we started with this, but this is not we should think of. Now on top of it, what we should add to get our desired result. So the most favorite function that is calculate will come into picture over here. Now let me include calculate function over here. Okay. I have included the calculate function. Let me close the bracket of calculate. Now let's see what happens. 
nothing happens because we are not providing any kind of filter expression to the calculate function here so it will return the same values which average was returning earlier now we have to include one filter over here filter expression over here that is the main point over here right what filter expression we should include over here we want the 35 value to be shown in every record so for that i will make use of all function here all function here and i will make use of products table over here as its argument okay now let's see what happens to the values of average price measure so basically what we are doing over here we are ignoring the filter context of name column of the product table so what will happen the resultant will be like this that you can see on the screen the values are coming 35 35 35 in each record right because we have ignored the filter context and overall whatever is the average price it is showing us here the solution is not complete yet remember this i i told you in the starting we need to focus on the total part also total should still come as 210 because that is the right value right 35 is not the total of all these six records this six this six records will sum as 210 only right so how to make this also clear so this was the next part of the scenario till now i hope everything is clear to you now now what all things we should do extra to make this total also correct that is the second part of the scenario for that i will make another measure and let us see how we can manage that also let us let me create that another measure also i will name it as average price final something like this so that you can differentiate what i am talking about we have already created the measure correctly now we have to focus on the total part how we can create how we can basically make the total of that measure also correct so for that i will make use of here if function okay this is how we should proceed whenever uh, we have some kind of total incorrect so for that i will make use of if function here under if i will make use of has one value function has one value function what does it do it returns true when there is only one value in the specified column so here the column name that i will give is product name right because this is what we have in this table product name now i will close the bracket of has one value so it will basically give wherever it find the product name column value it will result true right so whenever it finds true give me the measure value that we have created which is average price right and if it is not finding any value which is the case of total in the total record or in the total row you won't find the name of the product nothing is mentioned over there so if that is the case then what you have to do you also have to give the summation of all the average price that we have calculated so for that what i will do i will make use of sum x function over here sum x function takes two arguments one is the table so my product table will be the table and my expression that is the second argument that will be my again this average price okay again this average price will be the expression of this sum x function now i will close the bracket of sum x then i will close the close the bracket of if so what we have done if if has one if has one value gives true give me this that is average price that will it will give in the every record of this table like this and if it doesn't finds any value then go to the false part which is sum x sum x which will give which will basically calculate the sum of all the average prices that we have already calculated i hope you are able to understand this point now if i press enter and see the result what will happen let's see now let me pull this average price final measure that we have created let us see the result and see we have got the desired result that was needed here over here 35 in each record and 210 which is the summation of all these records in the totals value and this is what was required from the candidate i hope you understood the question and the solution also so please do like the video and share it with all your friends and colleagues whoever are in need of this and stay tuned for the upcoming videos thank you